So welcome to this troubleshooting video on elastin stains. We're going to start with some um, very similar sections to the ones that were stained in the protocol video. These first ones are Verhoff's van Giesen applied to the sections of esophagus. Starting with this first slide here, this is actually one of the slides that we stained during the protocol video and probably not perfect, but it's, it's pretty good um, in terms of, first of all, the, the amount of elastin staining here is very clear, as shown in this artery, the internal elastic lamina is um, well contrasted. Looking at the collagen, it's uh, looking pretty bright pink on the monitor, perhaps less so down the eyepieces, um, but it's not far off where you'd want it to be. So it's been well differentiated to a point where the background is light, but you haven't overdone it such that the elastin still looks quite, quite good. If we just look at the mucin within these uh, glandular structures here, the glandular mucus acini here, you notice that there's very little staining of the mucin itself. So that's just another indication of the degree of differentiation. Um, that we can uh, compare to these other slides as we're moving through. Okay, so what I've got here, and I'll throw in a picture here somewhere along the line where you can see all the slides all together, but I've gone through a, a class set and I've found basically a spectrum of colours in terms of the amount of hematoxylin staining on the slide. Um, so let's, let's go to the extreme, and this is probably very similar to what we would have seen had the slide had little to no differentiation. Okay, so just get that on there. <clears throat> so clearly under pressure, time pressure of a, a staining exam, students don't always have enough time to complete these stains. So I've left all the, uh, the white balance and various other settings the same, so as to give you a better comparison. So, can you see the elastin? Well, yeah, kind of. You can make it out just a little bit here. Uh, it's quite a long structure here, the way that artery's been cut. So the internal elastic lamina is evident. If we look into the connective tissue here, we can actually make out some fibres running through there. But have a look at the collagen. It's very dark. Um, I guess you could still say it's a shade of purple or pink but it's certainly not bright. And if we look at the, the colour of the mucin here within this, these, these acinar structures, it's clearly very dark. So this is an easy one to demonstrate as being severely under-differentiated. And would it be useful for research or diagnostic purposes? Uh, probably barely. And um, oh, I think it would uh, not, not have a... Uh, not have a particularly strong score if, um, if being marked. So that's an example of one that has probably been um, yeah, clearly under-differentiated. <coughs> now we'll go to the other extreme and so this is probably in a case of where someone's perhaps a little bit unsure as to what they're looking for during the treatment in the ferric chloride. So the thing to remember there is tissues will vary in their quantity of elastic tissue. Obviously some will have more than others. Things like skin will naturally have quite a lot. But there should generally always be some major blood vessels going through. And so if you try to find an artery, locate that early, look for the internal elastic lamina if you can see it, and then use that as your indicator to inform you as to how much differentiation you need to do. If we now look at this one, we'll notice uh, that it kind of looks a bit like a Van Giesen without any hematoxylin on it. it. The collagen is very, very bright. I'll just bring that up to, yep, that's on 20X, the same as the others. So within the epithelium here, very, very pale. Uh, collagen very, very bright. That might be fine if it was a Van Giesen and then if they had a decent Vigod's hematoxylin, it would be okay. But let's try and find that same area where that prominent arteriole is. 
I'm probably going to have trouble finding it in the absence of the elastin. Here we go. So around about this location here, uh, that appears to be probably a couple of arterioles in there. You can just make out, if I can bring the pointer around, there's just a little bit of contrast, but it's not really staining with the, um, the Verhoff's hematoxin at all. If anything, it's picking up a little bit of maybe the acid fuchsin. So this is an example of where a slide has been clearly well over-differentiated in the ferric chloride. So I guess the lesson there is try to find a blood vessel and specifically an artery or an arteriole because you do expect for those structurally to have the internal elastic lamina. Okay, so that's one that's gone too far. How about we go for something that's a little bit at random, and this is probably more typical of a slide where most people will be sort of perhaps not quite sure whether it's been differentiated properly or not. So having seen the other two in conjunction with the one that's well stained, we can consider where this one lies. Okay, so that's pretty much the same area. We've got a, a nice little artery in the middle there. Uh, there's a, a clear internal elastic lamina. That's good. It's clearly useful diagnostically for research purposes as well. I think this would be fine. But what do we notice about this slide compared to the earlier ones? Well, in comparison to the slide that was well differentiated but still had strong elastin staining, we can clearly see in here that the hematoxylin is more heavily staining uh, the, the mucins within those mucus acini. Is that a bad thing? Uh, not particularly, um, but it's clearly a difference. And so you would say that this is less differentiated as the one that we're considering to be sort of close to optimal. If we consider the colour of the collagen, there is a bit of a difference between what I'm seeing down the eyepieces and what will be presented to you on the screen. My impression of the collagen is that likewise, to be expected, it is a shade darker and it certainly isn't a bright pink. It's um, more of a sort of muted, um, uh, darker pink colour. Okay. So look, there can be some personal preference with respect to um, uh, what people like to see. If people are liking the fact that there's a bit of mucin staining, then that could be seen as being a positive. But technically, this would be a slide that is slightly under-differentiated. Okay? So in terms of just defining it against those other, other slides. But otherwise, a really, really good um, outcome.